the Diamond Sutra. Never let ideology enter. The moment ideology enters, care becomes interference, love turns bitter and becomes almost a kind of hatred and your protection becomes a prison. Ideology makes the difference. Therefore, never let the ideology enter. What is ideology? Something that is imposed on you from outside, by the parents, by the society, and it has been imposed on you. A child is born. If the child is born in a Muslim family, we try to circumcise the child as soon as possible. If it is in a Hindu family, we initiate him in the Hindu way or Jew or any other way. When you are living your life, you need a driver's permit. You have to get the right to vote. For all these things, there is an age prescribed. Below that age, you cannot get your driver's permit or things like these. But it seems in the field of inner journey or religion, there is no age. And these bring the ideology and makes you a slave to it. For example, if you are a mother, it is important for you to take care of the child. He needs you. He cannot survive without you on his own. You are a must for him. He needs food. He needs love. He needs care. In spite of all this, he does not need your ideology. He does not need your ideals. He does not need your guru. He does not need things like these. It happened in the Prophet. Khalil Gibran narrates an incident. Al-Mitra inquires the master Al-Mustafa, Master, what about love and children? What about love and children? And what Khalil Gibran gives the reply is very relevant. Children are born through you, not from you. This word through and from are very important and their understanding is necessary. When you enter a house, you enter through a door, not from a door. You come from outside, you enter through a door to another room. When he says children are born through you, means the parents have the mechanism for the human body to come into existence. With the interaction of ovum and sperm, the body comes into existence. You have the mechanism, the device, the passage, the door through which the body of a child is formed. A passage through which the body of the child is formed. But there is something that enters the body. Something that enters the body over which you do not have any control. Children are born through you, not from you. Then he continues. 
Give them your love. Mind they will have of their own. When you shower so much of love, share your concern and care. They will have their own ideologies. They, when they grow up, they can decide what kind of path they want to be. You have given them the freedom to choose on their own. I was lucky in the sense nothing was imposed on me. Nothing was imposed on me. I, born, I was born in a Hindu family, grew up in a Sufi environment. When at the age of 10 or so, I inquired from my grandmother, what is my religion? An important question everyone wants to know. She could have very easily say, have said that you are born in a Hindu family. Of course, Hinduism is your religion. Hinduism is the oldest and the greatest religion on earth. The oldest and the greatest religion. Nobody inquires, but you are adding suffix and all these adjectives. Or she could have said, you are Sufi. None of these things she told me. Instead, she created a device, a methodology. She told me your religion is the same as that of God. device. Your religion is the same as that of God. But this was not the answer that I needed. So further I inquired, what is the religion of God? She told me you ask too many questions. That you have to discover yourself. What is the religion of God? God has no religion. God has religiosity, the quality. The quality of God is godliness. Jesus says, he uses the word saltishness. Without that quality of saltishness, salt is meaningless. Without that quality of quenching the thirst, water is not water. God has that quality that quenches all your urges. In spite of all this, he does not need your ideology. Child needs food, love and care. In spite of all these, he does not need your ideology or anything else that he can discover on his own. He does not need your ideals. However, instead of care, you give your ideologies. Child does not need your Christianity, Hinduism, Islam or Buddhism. He does not need your scriptures either. He does not need your belief system. He does not need your ideals of how he should be. Only avoid ideology ideals, goals, ends, and then care becomes beautiful. Without your ideology, care is innocent. Otherwise, it is cunning. We try to impose our ideas on the children. When there is no ideology in your caring, and you do not want to make your child this or that. When there is no ideology in your caring, and you do not want to make your child this or that, communist or fascist, a businessman or a doctor, or an engineer, you do not have dreams to be fulfilled through the child. Every father has an unfulfilled 
dreams which he wants to be fulfilled through his child. You do not have dreams to be fulfilled through the child and you do not have any ideas for the child. You simply say, I will love and when you grow up, you choose and be whatever is natural for you to be. My blessings are always with you and so is my love. And whatsoever you will be, from my side you are accepted and welcomed as you are. Not that only when you become the president of the country or successful I will love you. And if you become just a carpenter, then there will be no need, there will be no love for you. Or when I will feel ashamed of you, it is not that. Only when you bring a gold medal from the university, will there be a welcome for you in the house. And if you are a failure, I will be ashamed of you. Not that only when you are good, virtuous and moral will you be my child and otherwise I am not related to you. You are not related to me. You are accepted as you are and my love flows incessantly without an obstruction towards you. You are accepted as you are. The moment you bring any idea, you bring poison in relationship. Care is beautiful. But when care is practiced with some idea, then it is, then it is cunningness, bargain and ugly. Then it has conditions and all your love is cunning. Hence there is so much misery in the world and hence all around life is created as hell. This does not mean care is not there. Indeed care is there. But it is with too much cunningness and conditions. The mother, the father, the husband, the wife, the brother, the sister, everybody is caring. I am not saying that nobody is caring. People are caring too much, but still the world is in a sorry state. Indeed, there is something basically wrong, fundamentally wrong. And what is fundamentally wrong? Where do things go wrong? Your caring is conditioned. The wife says, I love you only if you. You can fill it the gaps. Only if you. Caring is conditioned. Do this, be that, only then. The wife says, yes, indeed, you. You can make love only if you leave that. And when you leave that, as has been a condition, something else comes in. First, a major condition comes in, then says, now you have to do something else. I cannot make love to you again because you have been so dishonest. You have been cheating on me all these years. I am so moralist and you have none. So this is it, me and you. We fill in, fill in the blanks. So this is it, me and you. This is how things are. Have you loved 
ever anyone with no conditions? Have you ever loved anyone as he or she is? You do not want to improve or change. Instead, your acceptance is total. Then you know what care is indeed. Only then you will be fulfilled through that care and the other will be helped immensely. And remember, if your care has no business embedded to it or any ambition in it, the person you cared about will love you forever. But if your care has some ideas in it, then the person you cared about will never be able to forgive you. That is why children are incapable of forgiving their parents. Although they seem to provide for you, but yet still children are not able to forgive the parents. You go and ask the psychiatrist or psychoanalyst. All the cases that come to them are the cases of children whose parents care too much. But their care was businesslike. It was cold and calculated. It was cold and calculated. They wanted some of their ambitions to be fulfilled through the child. Love has to be a free gift. The moment that there is a price tag or condition on it, its sanctity is lost. Then love no more remains love. Therefore, give your love to the child as much as you can. Pour all your care and love unconditional love, mind they will have their own. Remember you are the passage through which a child comes into existence. You had the mechanism for the body to come into existence with the interaction of ovum and sperm and that which enters the body comes from the beyond over which you have no control. Children are gift from the unknown and unknowable, a gift from God. Give them your love, not your ideologies. Create an environment. If the child feels like doing things that is going on in the house, it is good enough. Celebrate all the festivals as much as possible. Show them the different vocations. This is how the doctor is. This is how an engineer is. This is how an IT person is. Let the child decide what comes naturally to him, whatever field he wants to choose. Then there will be a beauty. He will create a humanity Create a human being that is capable of transcending all the finiteness. Then when the right time comes, the child inquires about the religion and religiosity. Give him that. Let him progress on his own. 